Thanks for checking out the Boss and Roll channel. If you want to support what's going on here while getting amazing perks like the Discord community, have me play your deck, and my list in Cyborg Guides before tournaments, join the Patreon or YouTube membership. This channel is made possible by these amazing sponsors. Check them out and support them. Their links are in the video description. Thanks again for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to another Boston Roll video. Today I'm playing Modern, and this is one of the hot new decks that came out of Phyrexia All Will Be One. This is Venerated Rot Priest Storm. Rot Priest was very much off the spoiler, identified as potentially busted, and it doesn't really go in traditional infect decks because it doesn't have the infect mechanic. It has Toxic 1, which means no matter what the power of this card is, if it hits your opponent, it still only deals one poison. So this doesn't replace, and it might not even really support Glistener Elf in traditional infect decks. But boy, is it nutso if you can target your own creatures many times in the same turn. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, target opponent gets a points encounter. If only there was a way to target our own creature many times in the same turn. And of course there is. I am being facetious. There is Ground Rift. Target creature without flying can't block this turn. And Storm for a single red. If you can target one Rot Priest with 10 copies of Ground Rift, your opponent dies on the spot. If you can copy Ground Rift five times with two venerated Rot Priests in play, that also gets there. The Rot Priests stack on top of each other and get the opponent dead quick. Rot Priest is green, which means that Summoner's Pact can find it. Ground Rift is red, which is great because the Storm deck wants to be an Underworld Breach deck anyway. And with the power of Underworld Breach plus Dragon's Rage Channeler, Grape Shot is just a viable win condition as well. We're trying to get to 10 copies of Ground Rift anyway, so Grape Shot for 10, and then Underworld Breach, Grape Shot for 10 again. Also is lethal. You can go straight damage here, you can do the Infect thing. I imagine in hyper scrappy situations, you could even just beat down with Dragon's Rage Channeler. It's not off the table. This league was sponsored by Patreon subscriber Gabagool, and we got the list straight from the Epic Storm guys. Brian Cook recorded a 5 0 with this deck like the day it was legal to do. Alex McKinley, one of the, the Epic Storm Rider, Riders, <laughs> Storm Rider, Rider Die. The Epic Storm Riders also has a 5 0 with this list, and I'm just doing what they're doing. I will not build a Storm deck better than they do. That's their whole thing. Go check out those videos if you want to see more of this deck. But this is me trying to pilot it. This is Gruel Toxic Storm. Let's try it. It's round one. I'm on the play, and I'm against another Gigantha deck. This could be a mirror match. I don't know how popular this deck actually is on Magic Online. Could also be a Shadow. I'm just going to keep with this Dragon's Rage Channeler start. Maybe I'm supposed to Abundant Harvest for my second land drop first, but everything is better with DRC in play. And if they misevaluate, thinking I'm Jund Shadow or something based on this start, then that's a removal spell they don't have for Rot Priest. Aldarn Epicure. Okay. Opponent is low to the ground. They found the land. That's good news. Now I have to ask myself the serious question of can I win here? I don't think I'm quite there yet. But I can Desperate Ritual, mill one. Manamorphose, mill one, draw one. Abundant Harvest, mill one, get another card. And then Breach. Then I'm out of mana on the Breach. So no, I'm not there yet. Deck is crazy though. Okay, I'm going to Harvest for a non-land. Grape Shot, that goes in the graveyard. Non-land, I found Manamorphose. And I am going to jam the Rot Priest here. It can block Epicure as a 1-2. And if they spend a removal spell on it, they get poisoned. And I have Underworld Breach that so can cast it from my graveyard anyway. Better off for me in play if they remove it there than if it gets slot seized. They were a Saga deck over there. Okay. Profane Tutor just suspended. All right. I don't know what's going on, but it's cool. Okay. Scalding Tarn. This lets me, at the end of a Breach chain, still have one mana left over. I think I'm going to Mana Morphose. I get to see a lot of cards off of those and see where it goes. See what shakes loose. Just gonna make red green. Because I can metamorphose it into different colors if I need different colors. Grape shot. Okay. Grape shot is a storm spell. But I can cast that from my graveyard as well as I could cast it from my hand. 
I'm gonna bin that one. If I find another ritual, I think I'm off here. Or am I off here anyway? No, this isn't Yogmas Will. I do have to remember that I need a critical mass of cards in my graveyard before I get anywhere else. There's the ritual I was looking for. This puts four more cards in my graveyard. Storm is five. I'm going to start ritualing. I'm just going to go for it here. Fun and harvest. Everything just goes to the graveyard because I'm just feeling breach at this point. Desperate ritual. Round rift. Uh, that one might be better in my hand. Because then I don't have to exile three cards to cast it. Or I can cast it from my hand once breach, cast it again. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll put it on top of my library. I'm going to Manamorphose to draw that card. On top is where I want it. I'll make red, green. I don't even think I need green anymore, actually. I'll ground, rift my drop priest. Get five of these, then I breach and ground rift again, and we're just already there. Uh, oh, they have five poison. My creature can't block. That's really unfortunate. Summon us back to the graveyard. And then Underworld Breach. I could just Ground Rift two more times this turn, but they're already dead. That was easy. And we're just going right back in. <laughs> okay, uh, I might have had that a turn earlier than I thought I did. Yeah, Ground Rift for five, and then fire it back out of the graveyard for the other five is a super tight line that... I talked about Grape Shot re-Grape Shot. I don't think I talked about Ground Rift re-Ground Rift, which is... Half the mana and requires half the storm. That was sick. Okay, I saw some artifact potential synergies from my opponent and Urza Saga. Could have Veil of Summers to protect from discard. They could have Unlicensed Hearse. They can't Chalice if they still want to be a Gigantha deck, but sometimes Gigantha decks just don't have a companion after board because Chalice is too good. I don't think they're going to moon me, though I can at least upgrade my forest into Beseju. I could turn some of these grape shops into empties in case I need to go on the board. If they do just have Leyline of the Void or Curse, then I want to be aware of. This one of Goblin and Archomancer. I feel like that can become a sideboard card. Not a lot of room for Veil of Summers. I don't want to go too deep on sideboarding. This is where watching one of the Epic Storms videos would help you a lot more than this one. I'm showcasing the deck. I'm sure they could tell you exactly what all these sideboard cards are for. Hoping I just don't need them. Okay, uh, I have a Beseju if they have a hate piece and then ERC plus Abundant Harvest. Two pair. Keep in my hand. My hand is hard to collapse with a single discard spell. They have Inquisition, which can't take the empty. One of the channelers is gone. Through Breach after getting discard spelled. That's the correct order to do that in. If you're wondering at home. There's a Saga from the opponent. There's a Thoughtseize. This one's going to take Breach. Required. Ursa Saga will certainly come up with Graveyard Hate, if nothing else does. I'm going to Harvest for a non-land. I'm good on lands at this point. Summer is packed. I don't think I'm close to that, and that one's easy to breach. On land, there's a Rot Priest in my hand. And I'll just go ahead and put that Rot Priest into play. Go ahead, remove it. If they remove it, it means they can't make Saga tokens, because that'll cost mana, unless they have Dismember in their hand right now. And I'm just on the other plan now of attack my opponent's life points. And I could still easily storm out from here. I decided to leave back activation. I'm going to harvest for a non-land, see where that goes. This land in the graveyard. Look for a non-land. Manamorphose. I don't think that's where I, where I want to be right now. Okay, I think I want to save that for the future. I'm going to play the Beseju. I know that means I don't have Beseju in my hand anymore. I can't Pact for Wild Cantor here just to empty the Warrens, because, well, one, I've tapped mana already, and two, I died on my Pact. They're going to get some Constructs and presumably some Graveyard Hate here. Didn't make a second Construct. They got plans for this mana. Oh, we're cooking books, huh? That's what you're doing. That makes sense. Still no red mana. Discarded Emrakul the Aeonstorn. What the hell? Oh, no. 
Oh no. Or I'm just dead. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'm at 15 life. <laughs> sure. That that works. I think I want my Veil of Summers after all. Empty the Warrens. I can't rely on you. You're a combo deck, huh? Can I shave a Pact in a Bobble, or do I have to shave Abundant Harvest? I feel like my zero-cost cards are pretty important. Okay, I'll do it like this, and just try to outrace Emrakul. This is a good opening start. It has basically all the cards I would want in it. I'm going to Rot Priest on turn one. They showed me a lot of discard. I don't have the Veil of Summer. I'm holding Ground Rift, so just ripping the Breach out of my hand with discard isn't exactly a free roll, because I can Rift my... I pal for a lot here. Black Cleave Cliffs from my opponent. They have a decision to make. Inquisition it is. Took the Breach, as one does. Heretic Ritual. Okay. Putting a medium number of Storm on my opponent doesn't make any sense here. Gonna look for a non-land off Abundant Harvest. I got a Ground Rift. Okay. I think I just kill them next turn. Heretic rit Ritual. Heretic Ritual. Ground Rift. Rift, and then hope I draw a spell. And I get combat, so they have taken one poison here. Alright, don't mess me up here. I'm feeling excited about the possibilities. Okay, they suspended Profane Tutor. Oh, they did that game one. I should have known they were a combo deck. Okay, I can attack for one poison, which puts them to two. And then one, two, three. Get five poison, four. Okay, I can't kill them this turn. I'm just going to hold up Veil for a turn and kill them next turn. Unless they go book, book, discard. Nuts with them are cool. Yeah, I got them. Freeze that up. Okay, this is for sure lethal unless they kill my Rot Priest. Book, book. Feeling good. All right, we got it this time. I'll attack first. It is cool. Like, this is like if a Storm deck just had a two power creature in it. Like when Dark Confidant used to be in Stormless sometimes. Bobble you. Profane Tutor on top of your deck. Heretic Ritual. Heretic Ritual. Anamorphos. I'll put a green in there just in case I draw something. I got plenty of red. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Round Rift. GG. It would need, what, two gut shots to survive here? They're at nine Infect. Sage you into the graveyard. And let's give you another seven poisons. Wow, <laughs> this deck is nutty. On to the next one. If you've ever wanted to learn how to play poker, there's no better way than PokerCoaching.com's Master the Fundamentals course, which I'm excited to give all of you for free. This course is separated into 19 short sections that will make sure you understand everything you need to know to play well and beat your friends. The first section is on the rules of the game, then you'll learn about hand ranges, equity, basic strategies, and a whole lot more. By the end of the course, you'll know everything you need to know in order to give you the best chance of success at No Limit Hold'em. Check out the link in the video description to pokercoaching.com slash free crash course. I'm on the play in round number two. I have Dragon's Rage Channeler and some spells to trigger it with a breach. I'm going to keep this. You can find Rot Priest when we're ready for it. Uh, deploy my Channeler and send it. Start filling up my graveyard for breach. Omni Garden. Okay. Some sort of polymorph deck. That's what it looks like to me. I'm going to fetch my mountain. And I'll play Manamorphos for the card selection. I have Ritual Breach. I can do all this stuff again next turn if I want to. Rift into the graveyard. Now I'm ready for a priest, if we can find one. <clears throat> I found a priest. Okay. Um, I can't win now. I can grape shot the plant and my opponent and get another surveil and grape shots in the graveyard for next turn. That sounds good. Summoner's packed. Uh, I think I want that. Yep, I'm going for it next turn. Damage on my opponent, kill their thing. If they're polymorphing, they're not doing it now. Right, what do you got? Oh, you're a Bant deck. I don't like seeing blue or white mana here, honestly. Okay, cool. Oh, not Polymorph, it's the, uh, the Cascade thing. Okay, so I can Ritual, Breach, Ritual, Manamorphose, then play two Rot Priests and win. 
Do I have enough cards in my graveyard? That's going to be my my critical error if I mess this up. There's four cards in my graveyard now. Assuming I just mill literally everything, I'll have five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in the graveyard. And then when I cast things from the graveyard, right, I'm just going to start casting spells. I feel like we're there. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If he dies, he dies. Uh, ritual into my graveyard. Everything just has to go in the graveyard, like I said. Underworld Breach. Into the graveyard. Then Stomping Ground, shock this in. I have to Ritual first. One, two, three. I don't need the other Ritual or the Grape Shot. Stomping Ground into the graveyard. Ritual resolves. And I have to Manamorphose to get green, green. That leaves Brown Rift, Manamorphose in the graveyard, plus whatever I mill. I think we're here. Or no, I don't need green, green. I need... I only need to Ground Rift once. So I, yeah, I need green, green, red in the pool. I think I'm good. Too late now, if I'm not. Mill a land. Get green, green. Yeah, I'm good. The, the Pact plus the Mill will get me there. Mill, act for Rot Priest. Rot Priest number one, Rot Priest number two, and Ground Rift for a gajillion. That'll do, kids. It'll turn three wins all day, every day. Watching these Rot Priest triggers go on the stack is just delightful. There it is. It'll <laughs> turn three victory. Squeaky clean. Okay, we're playing against... Uh, I cannot remember the name of the card. The Cascade Warp World. I've played it many times. I've registered it in tournaments. Name currently escapes me. I don't think I'm going to change anything about my deck right now. Their deck's not particularly susceptible to Blood Moon. I'm faster than them on my combo. My combo's better than theirs. Yeah, I'm just jamming. Same, same 60. It's already perfect. I'll keep this one lander. I have two Priests and Ground Rift already. Abundant Harvest and DRC. That, that's my Splinter Twin. Abundant Harvest, DRC, one land. Let's go. If this is the Cascade deck, I think it is. They can't play Chalice. They can't play Counterspell. A lot of stuff they can't do. Playline of Sanctity. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't board in Besaju. But they did start the game on four cards. Guess I'm just going to attack them. I'll fetch a uh, green source. Play DRC and get to work here. Is there a main deck out to this, or did I just not sideboard? Uh, yep. Just gonna have to beat them in combat, which is cool because it's the thing this deck can actually do. My opponent mold super low to find that. Okay, this is even better. Pumping ground number two, Dragon's Rage Channeler. I'm gonna abundant harvest for a non land. Act into the graveyard. Bobble into the graveyard. I'm delirious now. I'll take a non-land. And attack for three. Well, plan B. My opponent missed their land drop last turn. They did completely nuke themselves to get this ley line. If they warp world, their ley line goes away. It's like not even a plan. I can also ground rift the plant token, so it actually can't block, as Garfield intended. And let's get some more beaters into play. Opponent's already at 11. Land number 3 could unlock all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, the Venerator Rod Priest is target opponent, unfortunately. Not each opponent. Gotta do what I gotta do here. I'll attack with my creatures. They could have Brazen Borrowers or Stomps at this point. They're at 3 life and 2 poison. Probably just want to draw some cards here. I can value Breach. I think that's better than Jeggy. Or no, Value Breach could end up with me losing Delirium, which is bad. I'll put Jeggy in my hand. Yeah, all right. Leyline of Sanctity, no out to it. Who cares? Just bash. Great showcase of the deck so far. Let's keep it rolling. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. Seven Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire Seven Factor, or maybe join their team, 
contact them through their website at sevenfactor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to Seven Factors YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the play with what I think is my worst hand yet, but it's still a keep. I'm going to turn one Rot Priest and then see what happens, I guess. Fetch and, and play my guy here. See what the opponent's got for me. Red and black removal aren't that bad. Prismatic ending is pretty rough. A uh, Scalding Tarn strategy. Uh-oh. Well, they don't have a Gigantha. Crashing Footfalls. Okay. Another Cascade deck. See if I can race them. Uh, well, there's a Ground Rift. Um, I can attack for one poison. And I'm going to Manamorphose because I might be able to win here. If Manamorphose goes nuts, I can actually just win. Okay, what needs to happen? Manamorphose is Storm 1. Summoner's Pact is Storm 2. Rot Priest is Storm 3, which I forgot about. Ground Rift is Storm 4. I think I need to wait a turn. I shouldn't have fetched. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I get two triggers per. Yeah, Manamorphose would have to hit another Manamorphose. Even Ritual doesn't do it because I need green mana. Alright, I'll pass. Hope I don't. It's because I fetched. At least I didn't commit to a combo line that's not there. And if they stomp or brazen borrow my Rod Priest, that gives them poison. Bobble. Uh, that actually would have won the game last turn. If that was on top of my deck for the Manamorphose. Did not play to that out. Gonna fetch shock and start the party here. Gonna Manamorphose first, because if they force of negation that one, that's something I want to know about before it's too late. Making red red. Of course, I drew a green card. Bobble. Bobble you. Misty Rainforest on top. Summoner's Pact. I guess if they remove a Rot Priest now, yeah, I needed to flow green. Shit. Rot Priest. Rot Priest. Maybe just don't have anything, please. I need this. Okay. Ground Rift. Get two poison here. Oh, but if they target one of my priests, they get two poison. So it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, if they kill a priest now. Oh, but they already have two. So it's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they're just dead anyway. I think, right? They need two action spells here. Yeah, they have the gone. That puts them to six poison. And then I get four copies of ground rift that give them four more poison. Yeah, perfect. Beat the removal spell. So messed up. Cannot be stopped. Get out of here, Exaxes. Thought I didn't go for it last turn. Yikes. Okay, another Cascade deck. This one will have Force of Negation. We saw Dead Gone. They'll have Brazen Borrower. They might have Blood Moon. Do I care about any of that? I could bring in Veils. I could try to go wide with Empties. I think I'll switch in an Archomancer for a Veil. Do I want to find another Veil? Grape Shot can be another Veil. And I'll just do a little bit there. Like, respect the fact they're a blue deck a little bit. This deck definitely can't play Chalice. Keep my hand. There's a Breach in there. We're good. Docked in Breeding Pool. They suspend a Footfalls. They're very good at drawing the Footfalls. Which is good for me. And... I'm going to cast Wild Cantor this turn anyway, so I will bobble them and get the information. Fiery Islet on top. Wild Cantor, get in. Wild Cantor is a way to just build two storm off of a Summoner's Pact. It also pivots around Blood Moon. If your opponent moons you and you need green to cobble off, you can Pact for Cantor, play a Cantor, sack it for green. They shocked in Steam Vents, even though we just saw the Fiery Islet. Got big plans. I will attack my opponent. As we saw last game, this is a perfectly viable thing to be doing. ERC, and then all Abundant Harvest for a non-land. The trigger, mill basically anything here. I guess a Rot Priest is the one thing I might not mill because I want it. But even milling Rot Priest, I get it with Breach. They're spending a removal spell on my ERC. End into the graveyard, then search for a non-land. It up with another harvest. They can cascade this turn, they can start hard casting horses this turn. They'll hold on to that fire islet that we saw. Okay, there's a ritual now. I'm gonna harvest for a non land. 
on a channeler. Okay, that lets me slow down a little bit. If I attack with Cantor, they could have Endurance. Okay, that's a shitty card. They could. Or they could also just cascade into a can of rhinos, which is also awful for me. Okay, they're making the play that they have. That's not endurance mana. Mystical dispute. That's interesting. Can I punish this? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, so if I don't pay for this, I can sack Cantor to breach. And then what does breach do? I can ritual breach. Storm is three right now. Manamorphos. Ritual Manamorphose Breach. I'm going to try something here. I think I could get value. While they're tapped out. Desperate Ritual. Manamorphose. Oh, that didn't get me high enough. Yeah, I fucked that up. I can draw a bunch of cards, though. Play. Breach. Yeah, I was a mana short of doing what I needed to do. It's only turn three. Dragon's Rage Channeler. I'll play that. And then I'll just play Bobble a bunch of times, draw a million cards, surveil, Bobble is basically, oh god, all right, well, I'm not going to get a lot of surveil action, I think I want that breach, Bobble you, the land, Bobble, I'll leave this breach on top again, and yeah, that ended up a little awkward, not the high velocity I was looking for, but it was still a Draw three or four off of this card while they tapped out. There's my breach. They're drawing Scalding Tarn. Their hand is Scalding Tarn, Fiery Islet, two mystery cards. There's the Islet finally. I'll bobble them now. Fury on top. Don't like that. Draw for a turn. Rot Priest. Good to see you. Do I want to attack? They didn't Endurance last turn. Oh, they can't Endurance with the mana they have. And they didn't Endurance my breach, so they don't have that. I left Manamorphose in the graveyard. I didn't leave Ritual in the graveyard. That's probably the better one. Going Furies on top of the deck is kind of a beat. I'll attack for one and see if anything messed up happens to me. Okay, they took one, is what happened to me. I can fetch to get Delirium, so Fury only kills one DRC. Also just Grape Shot for two right now and get some Surveil action. So that could be lethal in the future. Okay, I'm going to pass. They crack the eyelet, drawing the Fury, which takes them off five mana for Fury. That's good. Get your Rhinos. The Scalding Tarn we know about. Scalding Tarn does start representing Endurance again. I'm going to fetch in the end step. Get my Delirium and threaten their life total. If I get blown out by Endurance here, Endurance would stuff my Breach line anyway. So I'm going to make my attack first and try to fish that out. Here comes six damage in the air. No blocks, no endurance. Okay, that's not what they have if they have anything. They could counter breach, but I got to make a move here. It's go time. Grape shot in the graveyard. I don't have ways to draw at this point, so I'm just loading up the graveyard for the breach. Graveyard, graveyard. Ritual, breach. Every spell mills two, so it almost... I basically have escape one instead of escape three. Graveyard. Graveyard. How's Breach? What do we say about this? Say Mystical Dispute, which I can pay for, but would do very little. I could bobble a million times, but I'd rather Rot Priest and then Grape Shot, I think. I'm not going to pay for this. And then I'll play Rot Priest and Grape Shot them. Or two. I'm going for the face here. And I get some selection on top. They were unable to beat my graveyard this turn. One DRC is lethal. Brown Rift missed its opportunity. Summoner's Pack not interested. Okay. Okay, they're at two. If they fetch, they're at one. I'm at four on board, and I know they have Fury. But they'd have to fetch to cast that. Okay, life total dwindling over there. If they fetch, then Rot Priest is lethal. And that ground rift is, you know, hilariously might be relevant just in combat. They're going to have to fest, fetch if they're going to cast an endurance, making an attack with one creature. Okay, so ground rift actually would have been lethal. And unless they drew endurance, this attack's lethal anyway. 
cast Fury, pitching Fire Ice, one card left. They can kill one of these DRCs. Can't even take the Rot Priest down with it because it's a 1 2. Thanks, Watsy. Ashra's Bobble. Okay. I guess I will attack with Dragon's Rage Channeler. It has to. I don't even have a choice. They can Dragon's Rage, or they can uh, Brazen Borrower or something. A Theft. The Rot Priest. Or no, the Petty. Th that, that triggers Rod Priest. Right, right, right. Cool. Okay, so they're still alive. And I could play my Channeler. Wouldn't it have been better to trade? Just play 3-1 and block. Brown Rift on top this time. I've learned my lesson. And I'm going to bobble them. Misty Rainforest on top, and they're currently Hellbent. Okay. Misty Rainforest is the card in their hand. Ground Rift is in mine. I block a Rhino. Oh, shit. Didn't fetch, so they're still at. Oh no. I needed the ground roof last turn, not this turn. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, I don't think I can win this game anymore. I needed nine life, not eight. I could double block one of these and kill it, and I get to keep one of my creatures. They have the borrower covered. Do I even have an out to this? Oh, it's grape shot. Grape shot or breach for a grape shot are my outs. Breach is lethal anyway. I'll block with my non-flying creature. Bummer. All right, deck. Big breach time. Big breach hours. Breach. Spiritual. That doesn't do it. That ground rift is a sorcery, and its creatures without flying can't block this turn. Which uh, my opponent's creature has flying. Shit. Okay, I feel like I messed that one up somewhere. Okay, lots of counter spells now. I am aware of. Plus brazen borrower. The Endurance was a problem, basically, that whole time. They never had it, but it, the threat of it, it would have beaten all of my plans the whole time. Does that mean I make room for an empty? I'm going wide around their stuff. Yeah, maybe I do want two empties and three veils. Rot Priest, start it off. I'll keep this hand. No dual lands, hope that doesn't matter. They would need exactly Dead Gone to stop this Rot Priest right now. Where it starts doing stuff. The one damage, the one poison, does actually matter on both goals. Okay, down to fetch land, that's good news. Start the beats. It didn't dead gone, cool. And now Veil of Summer stuffs Brazen Borrower. Next turn they could just put Rhinos in front of this thing in combat. That's bad for me. Pumping ground into play. They're deading in my upkeep. That builds Storm, but okay. I cannot stop it. Draw for turn. Another desperate ritual. Desperate is right, huh? I could ritual out Jaggy next turn. I think that's what I'm going to play towards. Got to expect some 4-4s four in play this turn cycle. I have my basic forest, so I don't care at all about Blood Moon. Which it doesn't seem like is part of their plan, because they're fetching non-basics. Pass the turn. I can ritual out a Jaggy and protect it with Veil. Three, four, five, with mana still up. We could even mana morphos in the middle. If I spike something better. Theoretic ritual, mana morphos. It's going to see if I draw a breach or a rot priest and can do something different here. Bobble. That builds storm. I'll take it. Storm that I'm not going to use. Ooh, okay. I'm going to get to veil something, which gets me a draw. There's another look here. Can't be countered. That didn't get me anywhere. But uh, three, four, five, S Jeggy. And I can bobble them twice and reload. That was a cool turn. Bobble you. Had gone. Okay, that conveniently answers Jeggy. I'm going to wait on the other bobble. They're drawn dead, gone. They can bounce Jeggy. Temporary reprieve. Bobble you now. Silent Outburst on top. Okay. Rhino's coming next turn. Or Petty Theft. Okay. Saving Dead Gone. Get a draw here. Empty. Okay. Rot Priest. Hello. I think I can trick them into deading the Rot Priest. Does that even do what I want it to? I think I could just empty for three right now. Okay. I'm going to lead on Rot Priest. See if I could get the Dead Gone. Just fire it off here, I hope, while I'm air quotes tapped out. Okay. 
That was only half the plan. I don't know if eight goblins are going to beat the two rhinos they have and the brazen borrower. But uh, I'm going to make them because that's what I have. Mana source puts Jeggy into play, which is a 5-5. Five, five. That's bigger than the rhinos. Brazen borrower can't block it. It'll take them a turn cycle to deploy the rhinos and then another turn cycle to brazen bee. There's a mana source for Jeggy. I'm going to attack in, lose two of these, get them for six, and then play my creature that's bigger than their creatures. Yep. Foot falls. No, I know. And all of this softens them up if I rip a, a breach at any point to just fire out of the graveyard for a grape shot or a second wave of goblins. Then ritual out Jeggy. There it is. 5-5 five, five creature in play for the second time this game. They cascaded past Fury, Force Negation, Fire Ice, Shardless Agent. Nothing surprising in there. No attacks. I like that. Come on, Underworld Breach. On and Harvest. Okay, Harvest. For a non-land. Found a Rot Priest. Okay. If I attack, they could double block Jeggy. They have a second wave of Rhinos. That's a huge beating. Maybe I'm not supposed to attack here. Oh no, I'm getting blown out. Shit. All right. I should not have attacked here. Oh, Endurance is not as bad as more Rhinos. It's still bad because then my combo is gone. The Breach off the top line no longer exists. Gantha will eat the 4-4. Four, four. When it goes to 6. Do I save Rot Priest for Storm or put it in play as a creature? I think I want it in play as a creature. Storm seems like a big dream right now. Abundant Harvest and Manamorphose are among my better draws. Okay, they're attacking. They must have another can of Rhinos here. Yep. I guess if I just lead back Jeggy, they don't have good attacks, and I can try to rebuild. Critic Ritual, not what I want. And this is too much damage. They have 12 Trample. I have 2, 7 block. I go to 4, and then these other things just get through anyway. Alright, yep. Maybe I wasn't supposed to attack last turn. That was a good match, though. This deck is uh, pretty well set up to fight us with the Endurances and the Forces Afterboard. And the Quick Clock that can be deployed at instant speed. GG's. On to the next one. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards, and you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw for round number four. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got a lot of selection. It's got access to a Rot Priest. It has a Storm spell. It's not the right one, but it's a Storm spell. I want to mold to five. I wonder if this is some mess like Scam or Belcher. Island go off a of mold to five. That's not inspiring. Whatever they're doing. I don't know. I'm going to harvest for a non-land. They're definitely f 6 over there. Picked up a second Metamorphose off Abundant Harvest. That's some more Storm. Ottawara Island. Is this just like a genuine mold to five from Is It? Hey, do I want a land now? Land gets me four mana next turn to ritual into breach. I'm gonna harvest for a land. Found the basic forest off that. Blue, blue, green. Okay, we're just rhinos? Okay, it was just rhinos chasing a rhino, I guess, on that mall to five. Well, this is a two turn clock, and I would like to take some game actions if I can. Get a tap stomping ground in the end step, and then see what happens. Force and negation and endurance are both bad news. Ripping a rod priest is nice. What does that do for me? I think I want to start with ritual. Yeah, I'm just gonna. All right, it looks like they're f6. They're being refreshingly honest about that. Red, red off this one, and then red, red, red off this one too. I guess. Another ritual, let's go. Yeah, five mana here, that's enough to breach. Cast two rot priests. I can breach for starters. And then mana morphos. Then the lands in a harvest. Make red green. 
I'm going to need green to finish this line. I'm just going to metamorphose again because it's here. As long as I don't disrupt it. Oh shit. It's not here. I needed to ritual. Damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I drew ground rift. Easy mode. Uh, could I have stormed up here? Yeah, I needed to ritual there, not metamorphose, to get the grape shot off with two rot priests. But drawing ground rift is easy mode. And I might have had enough storm anyway. Rot priest, rot priest, rot priest, and ground rift. Off we go. I don't think there's a piece of interaction they can have at this point. Same targets. Put them on the stack. Let's go. Just a casual. What is that? 22 poison on turn three? Feels good. Okay, this is the same deck we just played against, just lost to in the sideboard games. They have endurance and forces. I like the veils. I think I like the idea of trying to shove empty through because. We can't necessarily rely on the graveyard. Not going to cut a summoner's pack this time. I did last time, but I feel like I need to maximize my hits. Can I just shave a breach against the endurance deck? That is breach just too good and you can never do it? Problem with endurance is endurance at any time counters the next breach. It's not like you can fight over endurance and win or like they don't have to wait on endurance. At any point your graveyard has cards in it, they can fire it off. And I guess I'll cut the Wild Cantor too. I'm not worried about Blood Moon. Got a no lander. Gonna have to send this one. Well, again. And I'll keep this. Bottom one of these stomping grounds. The fetch lines are better, even though they deal one damage to me, because I'm also a breach deck. I want to keep seven this time. They are fetching right away. We suspending a Rhinos. Yeah. The only thing this deck does for one mana on its own turn. Okay, cool. I can bobble myself here for selection because I have a fetch land or a shock land, depending on if I like what I see. Harvest. I mean, harvest is a card in the graveyard and a redraw, but I could also just shuffle it away. Then I draw a different card and I don't have to cast it. Does that make sense? Like this card just draws a card. It guarantees a spell, which shuffling doesn't, but I don't have to pay a mana to get there. I'll just keep it and play my rock priest. If it gets fired right away or deaded, bomb. Yep, that works too. It was answered, is the, the moral of the story. I was about to say I'd love to draw Dragon's Rage Channel there, and then I did, because magic is easy. I'm gonna fetch Basic Mountain, it just to, for some respect to my life total, as the last round we did lose by one. Like that one game where they could attack for exactly eight, where if I was at nine, they'd have to leave a blocker back and then ground. Surge kills them. What is this card called? Ground Rift. <laughs> Ground Surge. Okay. Uh, this summer is packed. I do kind of want. Yeah, I'll keep this. I put it on top and then I immediately get it when I say non-land with Harvest. And now I'm delirious. Now I'm putting pressure on their life total. If they have Endurance, they get the blowout. But I like that Dragon's Rage Channeler pushes for the Endurance early. So I don't get blown out when I put Breach on the stack. Alright, or they can just whip a can of Rhinos at me. And we can race. Oh, okay, they also had Fury. Pitching Fire Ice. Well, that's fine. I lose the selection of DRC, but I have a Rot Priest. I think I should play the Rot Priest I have. And then, ass, take my 12 and then try to go off on the next turn. It just gives me another draw step. One more piece of action, one more card deeper. Just need a, a ground rift. They have two cards in their hand right now. I have two metamorphoses, which is two redraws. I hope they just cast their Bone Crusher Giant and pass. Okay, this is the same thing. It's just, this was already lethal. Now it's ultra lethal. And they have one card in their hand, which can't be a pitch spell. So we're just going into my turn. Trying to make it happen here. Ground Rift. Oh, Grape Shot. Uh, does Grape Shot do it? They have one poison. I can get eight poison. Wait, I cast the, the Priest too. Okay, I'm going to start with a Metamorphose. Red, red. 
I should fetch first. This game is over this turn anyway. I'll just take my three. And I'll land out of the deck. Anamorphos. Or red, red. I have two green up anyway. Yellow Summer. Well, red, green would have been better for that. Oh, I have green available. Rot Priest. Rot Priest. This is currently lethal, but I can also Veil. Just get us out of this completely. And then, Grape Shit ya. You've been Grape Shat. Pew, 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 pew. Same targets. Okay, uh, this one went much better than the last one did. My previous opponent took a much more controlling posture. This opponent just put Rhinos into play, and our deck's faster than Rhinos, but it's not faster than Flash Threats backed by Disruption. On to the final round. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code BOSHENROLL for 10% off when you check out. Final round, I'm on the draw against a Gigantha. I'm going to keep my hand. It's got DRC, Rot Priest, and some selection. Wooded Foothills. It'd be a mirror. Channeler, get in there. Fetching in the end step. Say some information here. I try them. Okay, it's not the mirror. There is a Naya build of this, but this is the Black Land. This is not Jetmere's Garden. Okay, is this a zoo deck? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, we got a race zoo. This is a Stubborn Denial deck. It's a deck with a bunch of removal in it. And I don't have a good plan right now. I'm not going to fire Desperate Rituals into... Dragon's Rage Channeler, that is, uh, that lives up to its name of being desperate. I'll give up the gig here and just show them the Rot Priest. I have a coaching client who plays a ton of five color zoo in modern. I think this deck rules. I played it a couple times on the channel and I get a lot of exposure to it working with that client. See if they have removal or if they just play like some big thing. They are tribal flamesing the Rot Priest. That's fine. That's five damage I'm not taking to my face. And I have the Breach that can bring that thing back when it's appropriate. I'd love to see Abundant Harvest or Manamorphose here. Get some selection going off the channeler. Or just another channeler. This one's actually interesting. Is it worth a ritual? I got a bunch of cards in my graveyard. I could play a second DRC. Yeah, with two of them, this is a pretty serious engine. I'm going to fire one and see where it goes. We can make decisions about what the rest of the turn is going to look like. Summoner's Pact, Graveyard. Basically, everything goes into the graveyard. I'm using this as divination and hoping it works out that way. Desperate Ritual is in the graveyard. Do I cast the other one? Or do I take my profits here? Guess I got to keep going. Very interested in hitting a Manamorphose. Peretic Ritual to the graveyard. Critic Ritual to the Graveyard. And Desperate Ritual. I could Breach now as well, but I didn't hit any action off that. And if the Breach goes, so does the whole game plan. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to pass with 4 mana and, or Jaggy. I'll put Jaggy in hand. I'll do. I want to waste that mana completely. I did not achieve Delirium. Opponent is now untapped again. Going to 9, which could be dangerous. They could just Tribal Flames me twice and win here. Just played a Brawler. Come on, Relevant Spell. Okay. Still haven't scored a Relevant Spell here. Gonna do the, the Ritual to Dig thing again. Gotta find a Manamorphose. Grape Shot to the Graveyard. Rot Priest to the Graveyard. Okay. Um, well, all the Rituals I fire out of the Graveyard also mill. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna play Breach here. And hope to just find a Metamorphose somewhere in the chain and then I can win. Hey, there's a Metamorphose. Okay. Into the graveyard with that. Another one. Cool. We're cooking now. Probably should have left the other one on top to rip into. Yeah, the second one on top would have been better. Okay, let's do the thing. So I'll land, land, and another ritual. There's pack, just everything in the graveyard. The grape shot. Refire Ritual. It's pretty nice when you only have to exile one card. DRC to the graveyard. Going Tarn to the graveyard. More mana. Another Ritual. 
Don't need two grape shots in here. I can cast the same one twice. Handler. Graveyard. Graveyard. Ritual. I'm going to Metamorphose for green, green, cast the two Rot Priests, and then Grape Shot. I don't even need this Pact in the Graveyard. Everything goes in. Breach goes in. Breach goes in. Green, green. Oh, even rip the Ground Rift. Eight. Here's the first Priest. Storm is seven. Even if they have removal, they can't get through this at this point. Minor misstep. Oh, that's a good one. Doesn't stop me. But it's a cool one. I can metamorphose to make green green again. So Storm is 9 now. But I do need two Rot Priests in play. If I metamorphose, it'll cost me Grape Shot, which I don't care about anymore. All right. Metamorphose. Leaving a green in the pool in case they get the idea to counter this. Pact. Uh, do I want Pact on top, actually? Oh no, I need... It has to be in the graveyard. To escape the Rot Priest. Drift to the graveyard. Then green, red. Rot Priest. Guess I can eat the other one at this point. They've gotten me this far. Yep, here we go. Yeah, I actually have enough mana and storm that... No, if they have a removal spell, I'm actually dead here. Alright, cool. We navigated that one. Minor misstep. Gotta watch out for that. My deck does like its one drops. Good breach turn though. Using the double DRC as divination on layaway was pretty cool. Finally, a matchup for these blood moons. Get out of here. I don't know if lightning bolt is strictly for Thalia matchups or anyone who can put real pressure on you, but I don't think I have room for that. This fun of Anarchomancer. I'm sure it has cool lines, but I'm not finding them. I'm just cutting it every round. It's just the weirdest looking card and easy to remove. I do need Cantor in my deck because I don't want to get locked out by my own Blood Moon. I'll cut a Grape Shot, I guess. Yeah, I'm just bringing in Moons. This deck can turn to Blood Moon easily. It has eight Rituals to jam it in. They revealed Gigantha again, so they didn't switch into Chalice, which is something that this deck sometimes does. I can say this as an expert of this deck, apparently. I am going to keep my hand. It's a little slow, but Bobble plus land gives me uh, the fake preordain or the fake opt i guess on the draw i have a ritual if i find a moon let's go when it's on six and has wild and a cattle anamorphos always happy to see that i'm gonna bobble myself here decide if i want the card generated rock priest i do want the card play wooded foothills and pass the turn we got four colors here they did find green and they have a four power Kavu off to a good start that has graveyard hate attached to it. Blood Moon's actually not even good at this point. I'd rather just combo them. Land is a tough beat. If they can kill Rot Priest and then attack and exile it, then it's gone and I don't have that in the mix anymore. But if they can kill Rot Priest, then they can kill Rot Priest. And having it in my hand doesn't really matter. They're going to combat. See if they start in on Graveyard Hate or if they start looting. Yep, they're eating my bobble, sure. Territorial Cabo is such a monster. I love this card so much. Currently losing to it, but I do love it. If they just leave up Stubborn Denial, I don't think I can ever win. Line Binding. Okay, that's good. It's also exiles it and it's not a spell, so they don't even get the one Consolation Poison. Yeah, I think I'm losing this game. Unless I find a banger right now. It is a banger, but not for me in this moment. Gonna metamorphose for red, red. See if I can shake anything loose here. I don't think that's helpful. No, I don't have a storm spell. I could just breach metamorphose, draw another card. Or no, I I would have to ritual first. Four, five, six, seven. I'm at one on board. Jeez. Okay, I think I have to play stomping ground tapped, go to one, and hope they don't have a single point of damage at all. Yeah. All right. Certainly not pretty, but it's what I got. Uh, they can't have a fetch land or a burn spell or a counter spell. <laughs> totally normal, winnable game of magic here. They are looting. Discarded a land that doesn't add power. Now a land doesn't help. They do need the burn spell. Play some creature and pass. God. Oh no. Blooded Strand is teasing me. 
Come on, deck. Pay me out. Uh, I mean, I have to play this forest. And then I ritual, ritual, reach, and try to metamorphose my way to a party. Not sure this party exists. This is, we're operating on very thin margins here. They metamorphose. Oh, if they besage you, that's actually great. It's not besage you, but natural state. That puts another card in my graveyard to metamorphose again that I otherwise didn't have. Still didn't get there, but that was honestly fine because I had the backup breach, but not the backup anything else. All right. Yeah, I got absolutely smeared by that one. In empty, I can put creatures between my life total and my opponent in an emergency. Your deck's not great at trampling. Am I going to cut, though? And they brought in natural state specifically for breach. Can't really rely on a breach line, but I want to overwhelm that and make them have it, not get off it so they don't need it. Grape shot can kill creatures too. All right, I'm not doing the empty thing. I'm on the play. I'm just gonna bring the noise straight to their doorstep. Let's just see a ritual blood moon hand and play a non game. Uh, nope. Mulligan this no lander. I can keep this one. I'm going to put Ritual on the bottom. I like Manamorphose more than I like Ritual. And I'm going to bobble them because I have to Abundant Harvest anyway. Bobble, target you. Battle. And I guess I Harvest for a land, even though I don't want to. Basically never want to do that, but I'm doing it. I'm deeply unhappy, but that's happened. Dragon's Rage Chandler. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That makes everything so much better. Makes breach lines more reliable. Give me some way to interact with the board. You know, if my opponent does something like put a Ragavan into play. I could even Manamorphose into Dragon's Rage Channeler and get Delirium and just block Ragavan. I could also play DRC, let them hit me with Rag and not worry about it. Yeah, I think I'm going to play my land tapped, play DRC, and just let them Rag me. This Manamorphose seems too important. Sitting alongside this Summoner's Pact in my hand. Investing in the future. I could also just block Ragavan. I don't need DRC. If they kill it, it's a removal spell they don't have for Rot Priest. I think I block here. Yeah, if they just attack, I'm going to block. I hate to lose my engine here, but... I don't want to start taking damage. I'm getting mana advantage on me. Oh, God. Well... I didn't bring in anything that's good against that. Glad I traded, though. All right, DRC, get in there. Old card selection machine. Uh, now I need to Blood Moon them. Get slightly ahead, Blood Moon, and stay there. Coddle. Oh, behind. And this is a 2-2 if I Blood Moon. I'm going to fetch my forest since my plan is to moon. Okay, Arid Mesa in hand. going to Manamorphose for Red Red and just start looking through my deck. Abundant Harvest, Graveyard it, Red Red, my Manamorphose. Hey, we did it. That was the card I was looking for. And let's hope they don't have Stubborn Denial right now. Or they can have Stubborn Denial. They can have Spell Pierce. Okay, cool. Now I have to beat a 2-2. And Gigantha is in my command zone. Race is on. They also have Gigantha in their command zone. But I'm at... Ahead, way ahead on lands. Cool. Let's get in a turn here. Uh, Jaggy, let's go. What am I saving this Metamorphose for? This is just card selection. I'm going to use it. Don't need a Summoner's Pact. Take red, green, and use that mana to put Jaggy in hand. Okay, 5 5 beat down. I'm in your way. Found a third land. It's still a mountain. They can put Jaggy in hand, though. That's what they've done. A ritual is good for a future card selection. Or I could build storm and grape shot there. McCaddle. And blocking with McCaddle plus lightning bolt clears Jeggy. Don't like that. And number four. Uh oh. Their Gigantha's mana ability is a lot better than mine. Ground Rift, what's up? I will ground rift your creature. Can't block. Redic ritual into the graveyard. Baron Square. And attack for six. Opponent's at seven. Don't have the land. Don't have the land. Don't make me fight your elk. 
I could use Gigantha to pay for a Summoner's Pact, but... Oh, bummer. Dashing Ragavan's really good. This unlocks colors of mana. Maybe I'm supposed to leave back DRC. It doesn't change the clock, and getting dashed by Ragavan's really bad, so... Yeah, I probably wanted to do that. Exiled Arid Mesa. I didn't want that. If this casts a removal spell, I've made a huge mistake. Natural stating my Blood Moon. And played a Nishova. Okay. I think there are still lands in my deck. I'm going to get them out of my deck. Let's look at this deck. I can get Rot Priest. That's the only thing I have to pact for. And right, I'm just cracking all my fetch lands here. Clearing the runway. To draw another Ground Rift and win. That's not even lethal. What do I want here? Uh, Grape Shot. Don't suppose you trample. Nope, you don't. Uh, is this lethal? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think is. I have to put four on, or shit, six. I have to put six on these creatures. I could get through the Brawler at least. And then I have to pay for Summoner's Pack next turn. And they have to block. Okay, I mean, all packed. This is one, two, three, four, Storm. I got card selection on the last one. All right, some respect. Thanks for clearing the Blood Moon. Ritual into the graveyard. I don't want to draw that ever. Rob Priest is still better than Cantor. Rob Priest. Desperate Ritual. Don't want this other Desperate Ritual. Grape Shot is good for four. I can hit Nishoba for three. Another card's worth of selection. Put the land into the graveyard. Same target, same target, different target. Right, and I'm not going to give them the choice. Or, do I care if they go to one? I am going to give them the choice. Yeah, you can eat my ERC if you want to go to one. I have a blocker. Okay, they've made their choice. I have two lethal attackers. I have a blocker if they try to clap back. They do have six cards in hand. A single grape shot wins it. Round Rift is live. Still have Jeggy in hand. They just found land number five, but it's tapped. Really wish I had three lightning bolts in my deck right now. I think I even boarded out a grape shot. I did. But I still have one left. Yeah, the other grape shot's still in there. Most of my ground rips are still in here. I have a bunch of creatures in front of my creatures. I pay for a pact. They can do. Off return. Grape shot. Right, that's not a grape shot. I could offer Gigantha, but that just trades with the Wild Nakatl. I'm not interested. I need Gigantha to hold the fort as a 5 5 while I draw my other Grape Shot. They can play their Gigantha here. That's the correct play for them. No attacks. There's White Man in the pool in the second main. I don't like this. Okay. I don't care about that. I couldn't answer the first one. <laughs> Joke's on you. Grape Shot. Underworld Breach. Joke's on me. I'll pass the turn. There's their Gigantha. And they have Wooded Foothills. Between Jeggy and the Fetch, a, a second Blood Boon doesn't really help me here. Another creature I'm happy to see, though. Always take another creature. When my opponent's at one. Oh, I should have played Breach and gotten this Surveil. Shit. That was missed value on that one. It's not doing anything else. Now they have enough meat that they can present a real attack, and Rival Flames is, is good enough. Let's see what these attacks look like. Just Jeggy. Alright, I'm going to give them Rot Priest. That's not my path to victory. I know they're at 1. I'm going to Desperate Ritual in my upkeep to get some card selection going into the turn. Uh, this doesn't help me anymore. Turn off this mana, draw step. Wild Cantor. Alright, yeah, that's a creature. Underworld Breach. I should have done this last turn. Brought Priest into the graveyard. Not helpful. And Wild Cantor, get in there and be a blocker. Yeah, I'm just getting iced by Rest in Peace. If I sideboarded better or had that more on my radar, that's something I could have played around. There are just Besages waiting in the sideboard. My opponent's a 1. I could have boarded in a bunch of Lightning Bolts. I think I mentioned this Wooded Foothills getting Mount or Forest a minute ago, but they're at one. That doesn't actually happen. Okay, I can put Cantor under Gigantha, so I will. I think that's a better use than trading off my Gigantha that's keeping all these other creatures from attacking. 
Summoner's Pact. Impact for a Rot Priest. Block again. I'd also just use Dragon's Rage Channeler to block this turn. And save my Storm Spell. Okay, I'm gonna pass. Maybe I trade Gigantha this turn and make my stand next turn. I don't think I can go to three. And if I get Gigantha out of play, Stubborn Denial isn't doesn't work. Okay, it's time to trade Jeggies. Because Summoner's Pact for Rot Priest is to Storm, which alright, another blocker turns off ground rift as an out. Acting now doesn't matter because I search after I surveil. Underworld Breach, okay. I think we're uh, about done here. Uh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am exactly fucking dead with the lethal spell on top of my deck right now. Yep, I don't have a card I can tutor for that gets me out of this. Uh, if I had blocked with ERC last turn, I still have a giant lethal attack, yeah. They're going to get away with this one. The Grape Shot is on top of my deck with them at one, and Storm could be up to four this turn, but GG's. Okay, this deck is sweet, uh, undeniably powerful, and that's in completely unpractised hands. Someone who knew the metagame enough to, you know, bring in Besaju against the potential Rest in Peace deck. That sort of thing is worth a lot of percentages going long, knowing when to cut Breach. Like, if I had just cut Breach for Lightning Bolt, in game three, I would have won that game. There's a lot of nuance to the format and the deck that I just don't have that would improve the, the win rate. But as far as just raw, here is the basic plan, let's execute it. I still got a positive record and my losses came to decks that could pressure me while disrupting me, which is where you need to be against the deck that I turned three a couple times, turned three a couple times, and I've seen screenshots of turn twos. It's it's there. The power level is there, and you need a specific type of deck to hang with it. Playing this league makes me glad that I pre-ordered my Rod Priest. This is a cool card to own. I don't know if I would choose this for a Grand Prix, but it is absolutely a sick deck. Gabagool, thank you for asking me to play it. Epic Storm Crew, Bryant Cook, thank you for the list and the work you're doing on the deck so people like me can just pick it up and play it. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and I'll see you next time.